articles, videos, and live webinars. In his decade-long journey in the education sector, he has impacted more than 17,000 students and parents across India, Japan, and Denmark. So we are really thankful to you for giving us some of your precious time and sharing your invaluable wisdom with us. Now I would request Ampar Geet Kaur to take over. Thank you, Shruti. Good evening, everyone. We have another resource person, Dr. Anjali Arora. Dr. Anjali Arora is the president of AGAPP, MD in Community Medicine and a specialist in Public Health Nutrition. She's an educator with years of experience teaching medical students and conducting research with them. Her work on research and project on drug de addiction in Punjab was acknowledged at the national level and the institution got a presidential award for the same. She's a zero waste promoter and leads by example. She creates her own soaps, shampoos, and other daily use items by repurposing existing materials. Now, I hand over to Saurabh sir and Anjali ma'am. The stage is all yours sir and ma'am. Thank you so much. Um, Arshia, Shruti, yeah. Amargeet and Arnav. That was such a wonderful and such a warm welcome. Warm. Thank you, thank you the students for the such a warm welcome to us. We are glad to have you as our audience today. Absolutely. And uh, I would like to uh, especially thank uh, Girish Kumar sir for, uh, you know, allowing us to actually address, um, you know, such a big gathering of the future of our country from APJ. Thank you, sir. It's the need of the hour, I believe, sir. Absolutely, sir. You couldn't be more right. Uh, thank you so much, Anju, ma'am, and uh, you know, for organizing this, uh, you know, talking to us <laughs> behind the curtain and uh, making this happen. And uh, Yogesh, sir, for, uh, you know, managing uh, this very big event right now. Um, I would also like to uh, tell all of you that, uh, yes, Dr. Anjali Arora, uh, Pallavi, ma'am, and myself, we are here from AGAP, but we also have Dr. Ashma Shuri, uh, who's uh, like one of our, you know, backbones at the NGO. She's also joined in. And uh, so uh, se having said all that, let me welcome all of you to today's webinar. Um, this webinar, this particular session will have two parts, guys. Uh, the first part is going to be a small presentation where we talk about uh, plastic pollution, sustainability and related things. And then we would like to answer your questions. All right. So please do not hesitate in asking questions. No question is a wrong question. No question is a bad question. Whatever comes to your mind, do not hesitate. And I would uh, like to uh, solicit the help from uh, the compares here. Please help us. Please help Anju, ma'am, uh, so that we can filter out the questions and we can make this session a success. All right? Awesome. So let me just start by uh, sharing my screen. So I hope this is visible to all. All right. So Shruti, is this visible? Yes, sir. Perfect. Okay. Let me just... Right. So all of you remember this particular picture? Yes? yes. Do you know this picture? This picture was, is from uh, May last year. And this is the picture that I use for all my webinars, whether it is career related, whether it is education or anything else. Because this picture is so close to my heart. As a Jalandharite, I feel so proud when I see that this is the potential that we have as a city. We can bring back the natural glory of our Himalayas back to the plains in Punjab. And this is what I want to work for. This is what all the A-gappers here want to work towards. And this particular session is about how can we bring this back? How can we make sure that in the next few years, this is a very normal sight for all of us to see in Jalandhar. The morning we wake up, we look uh, east and we see the Himalayas and the Dholadar mountains welcoming us with their snowing peaks. So, who are we? Well, we are actually doctors, we are lawyers, we are educators, psychologists, 
we are students there are a lot of students in a gap we are builders now before i go to the last word which you can see already all the above right all the uh, things on written on top they are some very normal careers we all aspire to be i'm sure there are a lot of budding doctors lawyers educators and psychology engineers in this in this uh, you know uh, assembly today but how many of you have ever thought of becoming an environmentalist and it's absolutely okay if you had never thought about this because trust me none of us in a gap had ever thought about this either humne kabhi nahi socha tha ki hame environmentalist banna hai but the problem is in today's world when i look outside when i look on the sides of my uh, of the roads of my city i see very colorful things plastic flying around you know garbage everywhere and then i think oh my city is very beautiful is it it is not and that is the reason why all of us became a gap सो so, हम सबके दिमाग में शायद एनजीओ के बारे में कुछ होता है कुछ विजन होती है पर्सपेक्टिव होता है दिस इज हाउ एन एनजीओ वर्क्स एन ऑल दैट वी आर एन एनजीओ एंड वी आर पीपल हु हैव आर ओन प्रोफेशन बट वी आर टेकिंग आउट टाइम बिकॉज इफ वी डू नॉट डू दिस हु एल्स वेल एंड दैट इज अ क्वेश्चन आई वॉन्ट ऑल ऑफ यू टू थिंक अबाउट थ्रू आउट दिस प्रेजेंटेशन इफ वी आर नॉट गोइंग टू चेंज थिंग्स हु एल्स इज गोइंग टू चेंज थिंग्स ओके so a little bit about our journey we started officially in august last year and uh, in december we actually sent a letter to the chief minister it was recognized by the chief minister we had sessions with punjab pollution control board uh, which is based out of patiala uh, it was uh, you know widely recognized since uh, for earth day in april then uh, in june also we did email campaigns wherein students from all across punjab and delhi they participated they sent emails to our leaders telling them please implement the plastic ban this was also recognized by various media in punjab and outside punjab this actually the amar ujala uh, post is from delhi wherein some of our students from saint mark school in delhi were uh, sending emails and it was recognized this particular webinar is actually uh, from uh, millennium school amritsar so we are a large community and growing and we want to welcome you all to our community and our journey now beginning today's webinar officially the topic is plastic pollution and our sustainable future but what exactly is the connection between plastic pollution and the sustainable future and what exactly is a sustainable future do we really know about it everyone keeps talking about it but what exactly is it let's see before we begin i want all of you to actually do a small activity i want dr anjali aroda to please come in now and guide us towards this activity while i share a link with all of you thank you thank you so much saurabh thank you girish sir thank you everybody and thank you our future generation we actually want you with us so beginning with today what we want you guys to do first is take this uh, google forms to fill a, a little form for us where we want to know what is your garbage sense so let's begin with it uh, so uh, they will uh, they'll fill the form later sort of or we should give them time to fill it right right away ma'am i think we can share the form right now uh, but they can fill it when they are able to okay uh, i'm also facing a little trouble in uh, sharing my screen again just just let me just check so if i can just open this form and ma'am you can probably explain this form to all of them then bache basically we want to know what your perception is as of now before we begin this webinar or a little orientation to you towards garbage towards waste what what do you know how much you have sensed it till now so so this is just a small performer which we want you to fill for us ओके सो इसमें क्वेश्चंस बहुत सिंपल हैं वी जस्ट वांट टू यू टू अंडरस्टैंड वेदर यू नो फॉर योरसेल्फ एंड देन वील आल्सो नो व्हाट डू यू नो अबाउट इट सो डू यू थिंक गार्बेज इज अ बिग प्रॉब्लम 
Do you think plastic waste is posing a threat to the environment? And these kind of questions. Okay, actually, this is a very small form, but it is very important. Okay, ma'am, I'm sharing the screen for the uh, presentation again now. Yes, yes, Varu. Okay, so coming to waste, what is solid waste? It is nothing but the garbage that we throw. Garbage that we throw, you throw, or it comes out from the eateries that we know, maybe the commercial establishments, the industries, everything which is thrown in the dustbin is a solid waste. And today's webinar or addressing you youngsters is only because we want to teach you that please consider waste as a resource. This is the only way when where we can make a difference. And why is it important to not create waste? So solid waste, what do you think? When we throw it, it does not disappear because various items have different time span to decompose. Uh, say like any tickets that we get are organic waste. It is the least, uh, organic waste takes the least time to decompose. Say orange peel takes six months. Banana is the fastest to decompose. It decomposes in just two to seven days, but only when thrown in the right conditions or decomposed in the right way. Then the milk cartons or the juice cartons that we use in our homes, tin cans that we use for various purposes, cold drinks, ghee, many other things comes in tins. Then batteries, we use it in so many different places. This is the time span that they remain on, are still on the earth. So the batteries that you must have used in your watches or hair and there are still lying there. And then the plastic. Plastic is something which will never, never go away. So the each bottle of plastic that you have used, consider it still lying somewhere on this planet. Now, how is this waste gathering up? We have purchasing power. We have money. We are seeing marketing around. There is so much, so much of marketing of different, different brands, different, different things that we think we need to look stylish, trendy, or we actually, it is our convenience now, many of these things. And this is, a marketing agenda because we are consuming the companies are making more money out of it so what they are doing is they are making the quality poorer and they are increasing the number of things we are purchasing it and they end up in landfill the cheaper it is the sooner it reaches the landfill next slide sort of so now this is our culture, use and throw, and it is linked to nothing but just convenience. So a household is producing waste. Either say we are throwing it in the dustbin and our waste gatherers or municipal trucks are carrying it. And ultimately, where are they ending up? Whether we litter it or we dispose it in the dustbin in a right way, they end up in the landfill. And these landfills are getting bigger and bigger and are becoming the black spots. If not landfills, where does our waste go? See, this is a view that was an animated view. Now you can see a real non-animated view. Uh, do you know, have you ever seen this, this landfill, Ghazipur, Delhi? I, I, I think many of you must have seen it. This is, this is known as the garbage mountain of India. This waste is only produced by North India. Can you imagine how much waste we are throwing and producing daily? And such, such big mountains are also in Mumbai. They are also in Bangalore and in our oceans, in our rivers, which we are littering. And after this, the plastic is thrown up here and there. And then what happens? The animals, dogs, cows, they come and feed on them. 
and it either ends up in their tummies stuck or they are consuming so much of toxic chemicals out of it you can uh, go and check a plastic cow on the youtube you will come to know very interesting facts and and then they are cats house flies and then they are causing dengue malaria chikungunya plagues cholera typhoid so unscientific disposal of waste is leading to nothing but a health hazard for us only it's coming back to us in many many ways then what happens in these landfills the waste gets piling up and then it produces methane and carbon dioxide the two gases which are produced because these landfills are not segregated the waste thrown here is organic as well as inorganic so it does not decomposes and it is leading to global warming which is a cause of fever to our earth the temperature is rising and our glaciers are melting i think you you guys know about it you must be knowing all about this global warming right you must be reading it all and then what else what else we are doing with these landfills when we want to actually reduce them either we burn them burning them do you think burning is a solution it is not it is just we think that we can get away with it but what it produces is further a health hazard for us the particulate matter they are producing is the biggest cause of asthma and chronic bronchitis then dioxins these are the highly toxic substances which causes cause cancers in us then volatile organic compounds are damaging our livers kidneys everything is a slow poison in our body which we are unknowingly creating ourselves and this whole cycle is known as the linear economy so right now what is being practiced is a linear economy what is this linear economy you can see from this diagram we are consuming say plastic bottle conveniently our governments are telling us that plastic bottles are not waste because we are recycling it but they are not recycling it they are actually downcycling it so what is happening they are making polyester clothes out of it and because they are of the cheaper quality they end up in landfills so basically they are also piling up in the landfills whether we adopt a linear economy or we adopt a recycling economy the ultimate ending outcome is the dustbin but this way we won't be able to abate the climate crisis what we actually require is the circular economy what is circular economy now you must be thinking so if you want to know what circular economy is the beautiful example which nature has given us is the food chain we know of everybody of you must be knowing food chain right you are reading it in your biology or science what is food chain nothing goes waste nothing goes in the dustbin there everything is produced and consumed and it comes back to that cycle again so this is how we have to work with our resources we have to consider our waste as a resource and come out with a new thing of it and we have to try using such material which we can actually return back to our nature next saurabh this is how a circular economy works this is an example of a coca cola company the circular economy these days coca cola is using plastic bottles earlier they used to use glass bottles and it was actually a circular functioning by then okay so but this is an a uh, beautiful diagrammatic representation of our footprints on earth this means that whatever natural resources that we are consuming daily and the carbon dioxide that we our lifestyle is producing is known as our carbon footprint 
we we are going to give you one link of the only planet dot in where you guys can calculate your carbon footprint and know how much natural resources you are consuming daily we'll give you that later on so now what we were talking was the problem now what we want is the solution what is the solution then but the most important thing that you can adopt or we want you to start with is segregating your waste and also demanding for the same from your local government waste segregation is the first step towards achieving anything which we are talking related to the circular economy or maybe saving your planet waste segregation try segregating it into your dry waste and wet waste and then the three r's you must all of you must be knowing about what the these three r's mantra is it says it reduce reuse and recycle now what does reduce means reduce means jitna kam use karenge jitni kam cheeze hum khareedenge utna kam waste hum produce karenge so waste automatically decreases this is the best and the most effective way that we all should practice and then whatever we are buying we should try to reuse it how we should try to repair and use things and still whenever you think that this is the end of this product still try to find out the ways to reuse it use your ideas your creativities create your own hashtags where you can actually promote and think out of that garbage box this is what we want you and then of course recycling is something which we have to adopt with today's lifestyle because we cannot do it alone it has to come from the governance so till then whatever we can recycle we should and incineration or landfill should be the least favorable and the red zone where we should enter only 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 when we actually require to or minimize it as much as you can next sarup next ma'am so yeah already already we have uh, been talking on this how to reduce so bachche we have want to give you a uh, basic examples where you can choose few things and make a difference of how to reduce how to reduce your waste the first most important things that you can actually do is sorry please next these things that all of us use because it's our convenience like paper napkins we use it here now then every time multi layer packaging of course you children must be fond of so many things of confectionery and we cannot say ki kharidna chhod do aaj se khana chhod do but just what we request is try to minimize it try to adopt other options whenever you can then bottled water bottled water is nothing but our ro water which is just given to us in a plastic which we are going to throw hardly say after using 10 minutes 15 minutes half an hour or whatsoever and they are piling up in the oceans like anything then the clothes which are of the lower quality the recyclable plastic is converted into clothes then the plastic bags the most dangerous ones because their life span is just 12 minutes on an average we use it a maximum of 12 minutes and then they end up on the streets forever then bachche the things which you should try to avoid is the disposable cutlery whenever you go out at least the minimal that you can do is ask for the biodegradable options from the eateries you go if you will demand they will consider changing this is what we want from you maybe you are not able to carry your own cutlery to the eateries these days maybe you don't consider it 
you know as per your trending circumstances but at least demand biodegradable options from the places restaurants eateries wherever you go try bringing your own bag when you go shopping please ask your parents to do so when they go grocery shopping vegetable shopping fruit shopping balloons they are a source of plastic that many of us don't even realize or know and we just use them up for decoration there are so many other options that you can use if you try looking for plastic straws every everybody of you must have heard of a tortoise in uh, a plastic straw was struck in his no nostril if you have not please go and check it out on the internet and the sanitary napkins they are also the major major source of plastic pollution uh here are the few examples how we a gappers are trying to reuse our waste and we'll try we will would like to show you how we are doing all these things are created from waste the the things that we were we uh, all of us throw in the dustbin next next sort of but these these bookmarks we have created from these tags cloth tags so this kind of little innovation or creative ness in you can save resources and can make waste as a resource you can use the glass jars empty plastic containers to make so many new things planters storage different types of furniture try doing all these things this is what we want from you so how you can become a sustainable champion uh, saurav is going to tell you so to you saurav thank you so much dr anjali that was uh, such an eye opening uh, part actually we can use so many things that we don't even think are important but they are materials to be used and we can make things out of them but is that the only thing that we can do no there is much more that you can do now all of you uh, you are bright young students you are the future of the country uh, according to uh, you know the united nations in 2019 the youth population of the world was 16% of the population that means uh, almost 1.4 billion people on the planet are youth and if you include people uh, till the age of uh, 35 then that makes it 60% of the population of the planet but kya youth ki baat sunai ja rahi hai agar aapki baat nahi suni ja rahi hai this is how you can get yourself heard i hope all of you know about the united nations sustainable development goals all right now you can make 12th class projects 11th class projects because cbse has told you to make projects now you can make them on sustainability that is also an amazing career option in the future let me just share with you <clears throat> some of the projects that my students are doing right now which you can also do all right now the sustainable development goals they can be uh, put under two categories we have to save the planet and then we have to save the people all right those are sdgs if you want to save the planet if you are passionate about that some of the students uh, in india uh, who are working on these projects are one one of my students is working on textile pollution another one is doing research on space debris and garbage to jo hum space mein saman bhej rahe hain wahan par wo garbage ki tarah ikattha ho ke phailta ja raha hai usse kuch nahi hota hai there is just floating there then carbon footprint due to cryptocurrency a lot of you young people must be interested ki yaar crypto mein jana hai nft and all that right but do you know how much it is Uh, how much pollution it costs they are working on creating more sdgs awareness in universities over there they are working on reducing consumption in japan because japan being a developed country consumes a lot of things in fact it has 
the infamous uh, you know uh, it is infamous for the fact that it consumes per capita the maximum amount of single use plastic in the world is consumed in japan all right so they are working towards that if you are passionate about people ki ha logon ki help karni hai they have they don't have the same rights everyone should be you know uh, given the equal rights and everything then you can work towards that also because that also contributes towards sdgs so some of my students are working towards menstrual hygiene awareness and using biodegradable menstrual hygiene napkins and sanitary wear then a lot of my students who are interested in psychology they are working on amazing projects one of them works on that if your pet dies when your pet dies what is the impact on of that on you no but not a lot of people in india are doing that research now one of my students he wants to be an engineer and he's working on the fact that since last year everyone is sitting on the chairs i am tired of sitting on my chair right now and i'm sure you are also tired of sitting on your chair but is that a healthy way to do it just now just imagine we have to do this since last year but taxi drivers and auto drivers have to do it all their life so how can we improve that similarly legal if you are interested in law so what is happening in the law world uh, related to pollution uh, if you are a dancer how can you increase therapy through dance mental health poverty all these things my students are doing and i want you to get inspired and do these things also okay some of the impact they these are some of the things that those students have achieved newspapers talk about them one of my students did a plastic drive then uh, they are writing these articles wonderful articles and those are getting published um they are getting scholarships they are getting published in international publications they are doing projects which are recognized nationally they are getting internships and a lot of you know how important all these things are for you so please think about doing your projects on sdgs and if you need our help we are here you can see on the bottom there is an email id for agap and there's a phone number also contact us contact us if you have an idea you want to do something about jalandhar about pollution let's do it together all right guys now uh, before we conclude conclude some of the things that you have to do immediately after this nahi to hoga kya acha ha ek aur session tha bada acha tha alag sa tha lekin hum ab kya ho gaya bhool gaye right wo nahi karna hai you have to after this session do this ek to humne aapke sath form share kiya hai apna plastic consumption measure karoge uske baad one week ke liye at least record your waste ki aap kitne chips ke packet kha rahe ho packet kahan ja raha hai kitni bottles consume kar rahe ho plastic jo wrapper hota hai aapka soap ka wo kahan ja raha hai jo aap wo packet kholte ho fir chhota sa part uska nikal ke phenk dete ho alag se wo chhota wala part kahan jata hai pata hai wo jata hai cow ke pet mein ठीक है वहीं से फिर दूध आता है सो यू नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड ऑल थिंग्स ट्राई टू रिड्यूस अनदर थिंग दैट वी वांट यू टू डू इज द बी वाई ओ चैलेंज ब्रिंग योर ओन नेक्स्ट टाइम यू स्टेप आउट ऑफ योर होम टू गो ग्रोसरी शॉपिंग टू हैंग आउट विद योर फ्रेंड्स कहीं भी आप जाते हो मेक श्योर यू आर टेकिंग अ क्लॉथ बैग विद यू इनफैक्ट आई हैव अ क्लॉथ बैग इट्स स्लाइडली अवे अदरवाइज आई वुड शोन यू क्लॉथ बैग क्या होता है आप सबको पता है अपना एक एक रखो यार उसके ऊपर ग्रेफिटी बनाओ उसके ऊपर अपना नाम लिखो जो मर्जी करना है करो बट कैरी अ क्लॉथ बैग विद यू डोंट यूज प्लास्टिक और पॉलिथिन बैग फ्रॉम आउटसाइड सिमिलरली कैरी योर ओन मेटल बॉटल्स आई हैव अ बॉटल ओवर हेयर यू कैन कैरी दीज मेटल बॉटल्स और इवन इफ यू वॉन्ट अ प्लास्टिक बॉटल इट्स ओके बट यूज इट फॉर इयर्स डोंट जस्ट थ्रो इट अवे सो अवॉइड रिड्यूस एंड वंस यू डू दैट टेक अ सेल्फी यू कैन मेक अ रील you can put it on these places there are two other ngos that we are associated with which we want to show you over here humne plastic ki baat ki na aaj but sustainability khali plastic ki wajah se nahi hogi aur bhi cheeze hain aur kya hai wo i want all of you to talk to your parents sit with them and go to this website onlyplanet.in wahan par ja ke aap apna carbon footprint calculate karo humne pehle bhi bataya tha anjali ma'am said also that we'll tell you about carbon footprint calculator I consume around three thousand three hundred and sixty-two kgs of. I actually produce three thousand three hundred sixty-two kgs of carbon. Only me, me alone, and that is a lot. It should be around two thousand. So, आपका कितना है? You need to check that. All right, go and do it. It's a very fun exercise. Do it with your parents. तभी मजा आएगा. Next thing, I want all of you to check how much water do you consume. you might be thinking are i don't consume water i drink 2 liters of water 
and uh, three after three four days only I take bath, so I'm not using a lot of water. No, even if you do the normal things, you're not realizing washing and cleaning and all those other things which are happening. So my family consumes four hundred and seventy four liters of water per day. Rose ka or my family me three log hain. So rose ka ham almost five hundred liter pani consume kar rahe hain. जबकि होना कितना चाहिए ऑल राइट इन एफिशियंट है 158 पर पर्सन होना चाहिए 111 तो मतलब कुछ 330 लीटर पर डे पर फैमिली इज समथिंग दैट यूर लुकिंग एट पर पर्सन आपको 111 लीटर से ज्यादा नहीं करना है सो डू दिस चेकिंग आई शेयर दिस लिंक आल्सो इन द ग्रुप ये अर्बन वाटर डॉक्टर जल स्मृति नाम के एनजीओ मैम ने बनाया है वी डू अ लॉर्ड ऑफ एक्टिविटीज विद एम आई वॉन्ट यू टू सी हाउ मच कार्बन यू आर प्रोड्यूसिंग and how much water you're consuming do this oh all right just a second there's something wrong just a second right so is this visible No, sir. Not not yet. Just a second. Yes, sir. Okay. All right, guys. These are the three things that we want you to do: measure your plastic consumption, carbon footprint, and water consumption. Okay. And then finally, what else can you do? Sir, ये तो बहुत ज़्यादा है मेरे से नहीं हो पाएगा. इतना time थोड़ी लगा था मैं. Instagram पे stop भी करना होता है लोगों को. I get it. I get it. But you can also volunteer sometimes these are actually students from uh, another very famous school uska naam bhi hai theek hai so you can also become part of that please volunteer we did a plantation drive recently in varsa vihar next time we would love to see you there also because you're all a gappers all right we want to leave you with this um dr anjali i think you should talk about this because it's such an important uh, book right <laughs> Dr. Anjali, okay. So there's a very important book which was yes, yes, sir. All right, yes. ma'am, please go ahead. So, uh, dear students, so there's lot more that we want to tell you actually, but we today we cannot cover it actually. We want to make you the heroes, our sustainable champions, where we don't need to protect Earth. it should be a part of your daily daily living this is one very uh, famous book the little prince which is like my favorite very close to my heart and and this quote from finished washing and be how we lives and if we are living our lives this way such webinar Hold no importance. These these webinars or such NGOs like us are important because many of us or very few of us are actually tending to the need of it. And we want you, you change makers, our young generation, our future, for whom we actually want to save these resources. Without which, there's nothing. such covid like situations will keep on arising if we do not start it today right away so this is what we want from you and if you really wish to join us and hold many such workshops trainings for you where we will actually teach you how you can start living a zero waste lifestyle with us this is actually bachche this is only what we want from you and we will be very glad if we keep on getting such opportunities where we we want to train you become the environmentalists we want you to that this should become your lifestyle and you can ask anything from us if you want to as of now yes sort of if you have any doubts absolutely um so that was the first part of the session thank you so much for you know very being very patient and listening through us we had a few technical glitches i'm very sorry for that um so the compares now you have to help us 
uh, in understanding which all um, you know questions there are if there are questions and uh, you know please help us that okay. thank you sir now i would like to encourage the audience to ask your valuable questions via the chat box Can children write on chat box? Is it set like that? Yes, sir. I have given the facility to everybody now. They can right. send their message in the chat box. Right. So we encourage all the students to kindly ask their questions. As far as the attendance link is concerned, it will be shared very shortly after the question answers. So there is a question, how is space debris harming the planet? Aha, uh -huh, finally. I was wondering, there are no science students there or what? Huh? They're not interested in space, Elon Musk or what? Okay, so very good question. So the space debris, what it does is, and let me take you, uh, you know, give you an example of what Elon Musk's, there's a company, there's many companies Elon Musk owns. Uh, one of them is called uh, Starlink. Have you heard of that? So Starlink, what it does is it keeps on shooting satellites in the air. Now, with the help of those satellites, they are creating a world network that internet connectivity can be improved. Okay, now mountains or remote areas, mein internet nahi milta. With the help of those satellites, that will happen. So those satellites are not like other satellites because they are very close to the Earth. Other satellites are very far away. We can hardly see them. But those are very close by. At, you can see them going like this, like rockets. You might see they are aliens, but they're not. What happens astronomers, when they try to see stars, they're looking at Jupiter. And suddenly what happens? There are five Starlink satellites coming in the middle. <laughs> so... When you disturb the natural way of doing things, there will be consequences. Even if you did not intend that there should be consequences. So, you think that plastic has been made, you have never thought that there will be a problem with plastic. Similarly, when we push things out to space, it creates space debris around the planet. So, the debris, the garbage, is sometimes neutral, sometimes there are chemical toxins. If there are chemical toxins, it will impact the upper layer, stratosphere, ionosphere, and it will impact it. All right? Just like our radio communications and all these things uh, are deeply affected. The other thing is that tomorrow, when we are going to become a space-faring uh, civilization, when we are going to other normally to other planets, like if you have to go to Jalandar or Amritsar, then it will be good to see that if you have to go on the highway. No, right? Same. So if you have to go to moon debris do you think that will help you no it is dangerous and it is uh, against you know what we stand for as environmentalists also all right so there are still unknown and unintended effects that space debris will have that is why more research is being done on it and if you want to do that research just let me know we'll do it together so there is another question. Uh, why is there a, the biggest garbage patch in Pacific Ocean? One student is asking. Uh, um, first of all, uh, so is question going up? Uh, Dr. Anjali, would you also like to answer this question? Yeah, but why? Why? No, I'm going to start. I'm going to add it. All right, because this is a very interesting question. And I think this question has come. Okay. Because you have seen it on Netflix. If you have seen it on Netflix, you can see it on the documentary. So you can see it All right. Now, the biggest garbage patch is in the Pacific Ocean. Pacific Ocean is in the beach, beta? Americas and Asia, Australia. All right. That means on one side, you have US, Canada, biggest polluters. The, on the other side, you have Japan, China, South Korea, Australia. Again, big polluters. All right. All that needs, all that garbage which goes into the ocean, it needs space to get collected somewhere. You have similar garbage patches in Atlantic Ocean also, but the biggest one is in Pacific because it is undisturbed. 
and you know what is the biggest concentration of garbage in that plastic uh, patch the biggest concentration is fishing nets more than 50% of the garbage in the pacific garbage patch is fishing nets and fishing gear to fishing ke liye nets use hote hain buoys use hoti hain buoys wo balls si hoti hain na plastic ki jo uh, float karti rehti hain pani mein all those things are there the rest of the garbage comes from these countries china australia japan south korea uh, north america us canada some of the biggest polluters on the planet so that is the reason behind it thank you sir uh, there is another question a student has asked that can we do anything about the big garbage mountains in our cities yes and that is such an important question so can we do something around it the current garbage all right uh it is a big problem why because it is very difficult to segregate the waste to jab garbage landfill tak pahunchta bhi hai usse pehle kafi segregation ho jati hai jo aapne dekhe honge rag pickers hote hain kabadi wale hote hain wo usme se plastic plastic nikal lete hain kaam ki cheeze jo aisi cheez hoti hai jo aapne chips khaya aur upar wala part phenk diya uska kuch nahi ho sakta to wo sara fir wo garbage dump mein jata hai all right अब पहले ये सोचा जाता था इन दिफ्टीज इट वॉज थॉट दैट एक्चुअली गार्बेज विल बी डीकम्पोज लेकिन सेवेंटीज का के न्यूज पेपर अभी भी आप निकाल सकते हो अपने लैंडफिल से अगर आप लैंडफिल के अंदर खुदाई करोगे तो अभी भी आपको सेवेंटीज के न्यूज पेपर जो एक्चुअली भी डिकम्पोजेबल होता है वो आपको वैसे का वैसा मिल जाएगा ऑलमोस्ट क्योंकि डिकम्पोजिशन नहीं होती सो so उसका जो सोल्यूशन है डिकम्पोजिशन का उसके जो ऑप्शन है वो बहुत कम रह गए हैं नाउ वन ऑफ द वेज इज इंसिनरेशन जैसे हमने बात भी की थी लेकिन वो हमारा लास्ट ऑप्शन होना चाहिए तो एग्जिस्टिंग वेस्ट को हम फिर भी इंसिनरेट कर सकते हैं लेकिन हम जितना इंसिनरेट करें पोल्यूशन उससे बढ़ेगा सो अनलेस एन अंटिल वी कैन कैप्चर दोज गैसेज ऑल्सो इट विल नॉट बी हेल्पफुल बट फॉर्चुनेटली देर आर वेज टू डू दिस सो ऑल द साइंस स्टूडेंट्स ओवर हेयर आई वॉन्ट यू टू रिसर्च समथिंग कॉल्ड कार्बोरेशन और राइट कार्बोरेशन क्या होता है कार्बोरेशन इज अ नेचुरल प्रोसेस जिससे एटमोस्फेरिक कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड रॉक्स के ऊपर ऐसे वो डिपॉजिट हो जाती है सो साइंटिस्ट इन ऑस्ट्रेलिया दे हैव फिगर्ड दिस आउट नाउ व्हाट यू कैन डू इज यू इफ यू अर्न सम वेस्ट यू कैन कैप्चर द गैसेस एंड देन दोस गैसेस कैन बी कन्वर्टेड इनटू टू कंपोजिट एलिमेंट्स विच कैन बी डिपोजिटेड ऑन रॉक्स एंड दे अदर पार्ट ऑफ द वेस्ट कैन बी रीज टू मेक बिल्डिंग मटीरियल्स देर आर कंपनीज इन द यूएस इन चिले इन america in australia in japan which are using all these uh, all this plastic waste to actually create very strong building materials in tamil nadu in india uh, a few, few scientists actually you know made a way of paving the roads with plastic to agar hum landfill mein se kuch jitna nikal sakte hain wo to nikal le usse incineration karke you can uh, create energy but that ex- that exhaust pipe or that exhaust gas you know has to be converted through carburetion so it has to be a long process and it requires investment so ho sakta hai definitely hoga bhi but we all have to talk about it we all have to ask our leaders ki nahi aap kisi aur cheez pe paise pehle baad mein lagana pehle isko solve karo fir wo ho sakta hai mr sorana there are many many questions being asked and there are some senior children who have been answering those questions in the chat if you read the chat you will find it very interesting and fascinating wow but i think one question which i think is a very very pertinent question which has been raised by one chai is how to sensitize the uneducated and rural people about the hazards of plastic okay so if you look at the per capita consumption of anything that is more in urban areas to ye pehle to hame apne aap ko sensitize karna hai कि जब आप कहते हो कि पीपल इन द रूरल एरियाज आर एक्चुअली द कॉज नो दे आर नॉट वी आर आर दिगेस्ट कॉज आपको लगता है जितने टाइप के चिप्स और जितने टाइप की कोल्ड ड्रिंक्स आप पीते हो उतने रूरल लोग उतना पी रहे हैं कंज्यूम कर रहे हैं उतनी चॉइसेस ही अवेलेबल नहीं है जितनी ऑनलाइन शॉपिंग आप करते हो उतना कोई बंदा रूरल एरिया में कर रहे हैं नहीं सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल यू नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड दैट don't play a blame game over here everyone is equally responsible everyone has to be a participant in this so we are all professionals working in a gap humne kabhi nahi socha tha ki yaar hamari wajah se ho raha hai hamari wajah se ho na ho ho raha hai 
सो सेंसिटाइजेशन स्टार्ट फ्रॉम होम अगर आप अपनी कंजम्पन कम करोगे तभी आप किसी और को बता पाओगे कि कंजम्पन कम कैसे करनी है और इसके इल इफेक्ट क्या होते हैं जब तक आप दूसरों को अगर आप किसी से मिले ऑनलाइन अपने आप किसी से अपने चाचा जी से मिले बुआ जी आई है घर पे वट एवर इट इज एंड सडनली यू टेलिंग योर मामा जी योर कार्बन फुट प्रिंट इज टू बिग ये मामा जी इसको रसे जा समोसे लग गया राइट सो यू नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड अगर आपको अपना कार्बन फुटप्रिंट नहीं पता है हाउ विल यू सेंसिटाइज अदर्स यू विल हैव टू टेक देम थ्रू गाइज दैट इज वाई आई एम सेंग दिटी द प्लास्टिक कंजम्पन वॉटर कंजम्पन कार्बन फुटप्रिंट यू नीड टू डू विद योर पेरेंट्स क्योंकि जब तक आपके सामने नंबर्स नहीं आएंगे ना कि आप साल में कुछ साढ़े तीन हजार किलो कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड प्रोड्यूस करते हो तब तक आपको नहीं समझ आएगा सो सेंसिटाइजेशन बिगिन एट होम इट्स आउट समबडी एल्स हैज टू डू इट फॉर समबडी एल्स यू हैव टू डू इट for yourself and others around you so another question uh, that a student asked was how to improve the waste segregation system how to improve it okay so let me take an example of the two countries apart from india where i've lived in 2016 i was i lived in denmark and in 2019 i lived in japan both for one year almost 10 and a half months each right so these are developed countries they have money and they are deeply deeply invested in improving the world japan and denmark are some of uh, one of those you know two of those countries which invest a lot with the united nations to improve they are big supporters of sdgs all right how do they do it there is a place in japan there is a small city in japan called kamikatsu all right in kamikatsu they segregate waste in 47 different categories 47 different categories ceramic cup alag category ceramic cup ke andar jo tea bag hai tea bag ki alag category and everything how do they do it why do they do it because they are passionate about it the only way we can improve our waste segregation is by doing it ourselves aap kahoge wo ji koode wala aata hai wo khud hi mix kar deta hai so you contact us we have people who will take plastic from you we let's do it together we design one day you know maybe in the future when lockdown and covid is under control that you know you guys can bring your plastic waste after you collect it for two weeks then you bring it to school from school we will take it from you but we will have to do it together hum wahan par pahunch gaye subah 7:30 baje apni koode wali gaadi leke lekin aap nahi aaye sir main uthi nahi paya that is not how it's going to work na in denmark to happen दे हैव डिपार्टमेंटल स्टोर हमारे यहाँ पर किरानी की दुकानें होती है वहां पर डिपार्टमेंटल स्टोर ज्यादा होते हैं राइट ऑर्गेनाइज रिटेल इज मोर सो वहां पर इफ यू कैरी ऑल योर ग्लास बॉटल्स प्लास्टिक बॉटल्स कैन और राइट टू द सुपर मार्केट देर इज अ मशीन ओवर देर यू पुट द बॉटल इन साइड वो मशीन क्या करती है पहले बॉटल का स्टिकर निकालती है फिर उसका ढक्कन निकालती है फिर बॉटल को क्रश करती है फिर उसको सेपरेटली साइड में रख देती है और उसके बदले आपको एक रुपया दे देती है सो इन इंडिया in railways have started uh, this scheme in some uh, railway stations where people are actually getting money in return of this so when you go to dmart tomorrow when you go to reliance fresh when you go to easy day you can tell them that i want that whatever consumption i am doing from your store i should be able to return it back to you when you write letters to them when they understand okay fine people are only going to come to us if we are offering this opportunity then they will start doing things but we have to do it together 10 log ek aap wale 15 log apj school se karenge kuch nahi hoga but jab 500 log karenge na yahan pe jo 300 log aaye the wo sab milke karenge na tab uska impact hoga i think considerably post your time we'll take one last question uh, and then we'll move on to the conclusion of this so one show. students asking are there any ways to handle space debris we know how harmful it is are there any ways that we can handle that research is going on that is the first and simple answer but yes uh, when it comes to space debris for example recently if you would have uh, seen that one part of uh, the international space station which was actually uh, you know uh, developed by russia that part was decommissioned all right so there was a very detailed conversation around that that as to how to take away that uh, you know decommissioned part from the iss and how to dispose of it uh, easily ultimately it was decided uh, decided that it should come back into the atmosphere where it will incinerate 
and then uh, you know only the space dust or ash will fall into our uh, on the planet so oh, that is how they are designing it right now but more research needs to be done as to how can we uh, control it how can we push it towards the sun maybe or push it away from the planet and so on sir one last question i'll ask sir this question has been asked by a number of children in different different languages in the chat box and the crux is uh, though we understand it is, it is our responsibility to somehow reduce the usage of plastic from our lives and somehow do the waste management but is there something that the government is also doing in this direction if you could enlighten us very very important question guys if you follow news then you know the government recently announced that in july 2022 all right exactly what 11 months from today in july 2022 single use plastic all the plastic spoons and cutlery glasses uh, polythene bags earbuds earbuds hote hain uska wo plastic ka bana hota hai all those things will be made illegal some 40 odd things are there which will be made illegal they are not allowed to be produced so after 11 months this is going to happen so you should you should change your habits right now because if you start changing your habits right now then you will not fall into that trap oh my god this is not available in the market anymore what should i do so that will also reduce illegal production of single use plastic which is happening a lot in india because single use plastic in india was banned in 2016 2016 se ban ho chuka hai lekin abhi bhi milta hai na that is all illegal okay so i think uh, let's move towards the close of this uh, program today's program uh, you guys kindly enable the chat box once again i'll post the attendance link onto the chat box i would request all the participants te- teachers children to kindly mark their attendance and give a feedback on this uh, webinar today i posted the attendance link on the chat box i would request all children and teachers to kindly sir may i just thing of feedback sir yes saurabh ji uh, may i just request one last thing yes please i see so many students are raising hands and there were so many questions in the chat guys we are really sorry because of lack of time we couldn't answer but you can mail to us or you can ask us on instagram or facebook all right you can ask a gap on email on facebook and instagram and we will get back to you all right but i'm so happy that you're asking so many wonderful questions thank you so much thank you sir thank you ma'am for your insightful words now i would like to request principal sir to present a word of thanks thank you ashia respected dr anjali arora mr saurabh nanda and mrs pallavi khanna learned teachers and future of our world my dear students it was a very enlightening webinar conducted at a time when it is most needed dear children plastic has seeped into our lives so deeply that it seems almost impossible to live without it when plastic was created people must have regarded this as the most path breaking invention without realizing that it would actually break and hinder our path to sustainability and good environment in times to come dear children i was reading somewhere and how shameful it is that we humans are the only species that create the waste that nature cannot digest and believe me the strongest governments on the earth cannot clean up pollution by themselves they must rely on each one of us like you and me they must rely on our choices and they must rely on our will to clear the plastic i'm thankful to mrs pallavi khanna for sharing this idea with us initially and i'm grateful to mr saurabh nanda and dr anjali arora and the team agap for sparing their valuable time with our students and sensitizing them about the most burning issue i'm sure these children will bring about a positive change in the world that belongs to them my dear children i will sum up by saying that the worst thing is that plastic has become an integral part of our existence and it seems that we may not be able to live without it but the best thing is we still have a chance thank you very much for sp- spending time with us thank you so much sir thank you so much sir